Hello, hello. So you are looking at my really old computer. The one that I have had uh, before the current one. And uh, I don't really use it that much right now. So I thought I would turn it into a um, file server. So I was thinking of installing FreeNAS on it. And uh, yeah, I've got the CPU there behind that cooler is uh, Intel Core 2 Quad uh, Q6600. It's a uh, four core machine without hyper threading. So it's just four cores and the memory the right of it our DDR2 memory and I got eight gigabyte of that and that's the maximum amount this uh, motherboard can handle and the graphics card underneath it's an old uh, Nvidia card it's the GT or GTX no, a GT 8800 or 8800 GT or something like that. It's an 8800 at least. And it's not the 512 meg. It's actually only have 256 megabyte of memory. And it's a single slot card. As you can see to the left. But uh, the cooler is so big on it. So it's actually a two slot card. It has uh, two DVI, yeah, two DVI, DVI connections and one SVGA, I think. Uh, and uh, yeah, and that drive is a two and a half inch drive. It's normally a notebook. As you can see, the gray cable there is actually an IDE cable. Yeah, I used to have this drive, or I bought it for my really old notebook from 2003. But um, this drive doesn't really work with that old computer. Because this one is 320 gigabyte, And I can install Windows on it, but uh, when, it, when it's done and it boots again, it says that there's no drive. We can't see the drive for, for some reason. So that's why I have it in here and I thought I would actually install FreeNAS on that hard drive. And yeah, it's a lot of waste, uh, wasting space, but uh, you know, I don't really use this drive for anything else, so why not? And I have a couple of USB sticks, but I use them for other things. And I tried to install FreeNAS on one of the USB sticks that I have, but it installed but for some reason it did, didn't want to boot and the motherboard can actually boot on the USB drives but uh, yeah so that's that and uh, on top here uh, the black box with the red cables there that's a uh, five bay hard drive case and uh, yeah, so I connected all the uh, SATA cables to the motherboard and the motherboard uh, has four ports down there. And I don't know if you can see in the red cable go down and there's a fifth uh, SATA port over there. And also it has a SATA e SATA port at the back here. But I don't going to use that. That might be uh, if I'm going to use it to kind of transfer files or whatever but uh, it's perfect that this motherboard has five ports internally so four there one there and it fits perfectly with this box and that box has let's see if I can get it five of these base it's upside down right now so you just uh, slot them in from the front five of them so uh, yeah just slide it in slide them in and 
clock. And right now I have, uh, this is a Seagate drive. It's an old one, 500 gigabyte. And I've got three of these in there. And then I got two uh, Western Digital green drives. So the idea is to run the Seagate drives in a RAID. RAID Z with ZFS. And the two green drives will be just single drives. They're not going to be in a RAID. I'm going to use them as iSCSI devices. So that I can connect them to another computer through iSCSI. So that they show up on the other computer as sort of like an internal drive. So that's what I will do. And I'm not really going to have this computer uh, powered on, uh, you know, 24-7. Because this computer consumes a lot of power. Um, with the graphics card and everything, uh, it consumes with one drive about almost 200 watts. It's 190 watts. And with all the drives, with all the five drives, it will consume over, over 200 watts. So I think it was 210 or 220 or something like that. So having a computer that consumes over 200 watts, uh, having that powered on 24 seven is not really my kind of idea because my electrical bill will be sky high. So I will only have this as sort of a kind of backup thing and also testing a little bit because I actually have a uh, NAS, uh, a Netgear NAS, a really old one, and that is so slow. So write speed is about 15 megabyte per second, so that's slower than USB 2. And the read speed is decent, that's like 30 megs per second, but it's like a USB drive or USB 2 drive that is connected to the network. So that's basically my archive NAS and I will use this as sort of a testing and transferring. And by the way, I got the uh, Intel network card down there, it's one gigabit, because this motherboard has a built-in a Theros network card and that really suck and it has some issues with uh, transferring files over the network especially sending and in Windows I had to turn off like flow control or whatever it was to be able to work so I disabled the uh, built-in network card and I used the Intel network card instead because that works a lot better but yeah that's kind of it um, Nothing as special about it. Uh, yeah, and it's a 550 watt power supply. It's kind of an old one as well. It doesn't have the, those, uh, you know, premium or whatever. So uh, the efficiency of this power supply is quite bad. I think it's about 75%. And the newer ones are like up to 90 between 80 and 90 percent. Well, it's not too bad to have 75. But anyway, so I will make this sort of a freeness server. And I will, will make another video on how to kind of install that and stuff like that. So yeah, that's it for now. So see you later.